Okay, YouTube, I'm back with the uh, second, third part of uh, my uh, revised version of the Son of God. Like I say, the other God are probably getting taken down. If I come by, Yo, it'd be really cool if you could kidnap Jindosh <laughs> and bring him back to Megan. You know, I've never tried that. Uh, maybe I'll try it for uh, one of my playthroughs. It'd be really cool if you could do something like that. You can do some pretty uh, cool stuff in this game, like the way it uh, reacts to you, which I'll show uh, a little bit later. Come over here and grab this stun mine, since we used uh, both of ours. And there it is, stun mine. Kind of like enjoy the uh, Bioshock type of uh, music they did here. Kind of brutal what you end up doing to Jindosh. Just goes from being like this brilliant guy to just being like just having brain damage basically. So um, now we're on our way to uh, getting um, Sokolov, who, um, ironically enough, doesn't even really uh, help all that much. I mean. Megan is basically setting, sending you here just because uh, he's like a father figure to her. Well, that and y'all both, uh, well, Emily and uh, Carvel have like fond feelings of him too, I guess. So what that's going to do is it's going to come in and she's going to look at that danger sign like that. And then we'll just grab her. You would think every guard in a mansion would have heard that, but eh, apparently not. I just set it here and let her get some, you know, some vitamin D. Nerving target. Again, you know, not even using these bone charms, just grabbing them for the hell of it. Um, so Jendosh is down there. Along with um some more uh some more stun mines, which are always useful. Um, there's a guard right here. I'll take him out, I usually don't, but I'll take him out just because he can kind of be a pain to deal with. And there's uh, two civilians right here that can kind of uh, get annoying. So there you go, now they're, they're going to get pissed at me if they see keep seeing us. Okay, so just break line of sight with them. Uh, send them back down. You can knock this guy out if you want, but uh, he's never woke up on me. But, you know, this is first time for everything with this game. So this is um, Jen Dosh's, like, little uh, office area. Um, and there's some loot in here and stuff. Spin the globe. But this is the most important thing you want to grab right here. The conductive filaments. Because that is the masterwork for... The stunt mine, and now stunt mines are gonna be like OP as fuck. So, um, use this to go back down here. Probably be better to ride down on the uh, roof, honestly. Well, I just wanna kind of break, uh, she doesn't really see me. So, let's just get out of here as fast as possible, because they. If they panic, um, if they panic, they'll uh, summon the guard, and you know things will get kind of messy. So there's a guard right here. I like to take out. Uh, I don't really take out, but he can be a pain. And he's not here right now, which kind of sucks. So I uh, might not worry about him, but I'll show you later. He can be a pain to deal with. And so, um, come in here. I like to see, take out these damn, uh, clockwork soldiers because they're pretty annoying to deal with. Okay, so there he is. He might actually spot me from this angle. Ah, oh, perfect. So we just lay this down right here. That was, that'll work out perfect. Um, you see, just much easier just to deal with them. Especially on very hard. I mean, they spot you in only like a half second or whatever. I think I just knocked the 
damn uh, collectible are we? Uh, well, no telling where it flew with these physics. It may have just flown out of the level it's so tiny. But um, yeah, that's the collectible. I'm pretty sure you need to get three of those, which we probably will. And I'll probably take out another clockwork to be honest. But uh, I'll just come over here. This is really what I wanted was the stun mines. I mean, rewire two doesn't really hurt, but you know, not really that important. I don't really rewire. I think it's like one, one um. There's only one uh, one um wall of light that I rewire in the whole game. Just take it off of that. Um, here's Jindosh's little uh, prison, I guess. Um, hold the bread to eat. So yeah, here's Jindosh. I mean, not Jindosh. Uh, Sokolov, I'm sorry. So he just conveniently uh, goes unconscious. So we can carry him out. You know, this kind of brings back some memories of... Uh, the original uh, Thief the Dark project, you have to rescue people like this, you have to carry them out on your shoulder. And they always had a reason for them to be unconscious. Like in um, the original uh, Thief the Dark project, you, the guy was unconscious because he was in this uh, like um, prison. Where they were like basically torturing him. Okay, yeah, kind of the same here. Uh, Sokolov's in prison being tortured. So there's a guy. He might be looking down here. He's really annoying. I can be at least. Mechanical soldiers. Yeah, he's walls. up there. Huh? <laughs> Most people are happy just doing a job. So hopefully, yeah. You see, he's. He's inventors. They're not like normal people. Take him out. Probably. Imagine one of them is a kid. Damn. There we go. Yeah, I just take him out because I mean, he could really be a pain. That killed Jendosh. I mean, Sokolov. Wow. Hit the rail in that time. I can't believe that killed Jendosh. It's so random. But yeah, you can wait. He'll eventually leave if you want to wait, but I really don't feel like waiting. Maybe I can just barely uh, come out and he won't see me. I'll go ahead and leave him here. I don't think the rats will get him. Hope, hopefully they won't. Uh, I'll just hurry and uh, go now. Since we pretty much got everything we came for. Probably could have actually hit him with a stinging boat and just had him run off. Not even have to knock him out. Back in the uh, laboratory. I wonder if you can even take. Um, well, yeah, you can carry Jindosh around. I really want to try that one day. Just take him back to Megan and see if she reacts to him. Be pretty cool. We can lock him up like on the. Can we take him out of his chair? No, I can't interact with him. Lock him up on a dreadful whale or something. That would be really cool. Kind of make him tell us how to make our own clockwork soldiers or something. 
So the reason I'm being kind of careful here, they might have some uh, clockworks in here, which they do. So I'll have to take their heads off, make them fight each other. You know, normal stuff. The machine has lost its quarry. Playback indicates criminal profile. Combat protocol eight has entered combat. The machine is experiencing a playback for playback for execution. Along with the head one. Were we spotted? We may have been spotted because they get really... Nope, not yet. They get really, uh... They get really sensitive to spotting you when they lose their head. So we we'll just... Take his head off. So let's see if I can... Manage a, uh, drop takedown on him. So we shouldn't have gotten spotted there. Just no, no kills, no nothing. Um, let's see if okay, there's a plaque. Yeah, I think there's actually one more. Uh, um, one more uh, clockwork might want to take out. I want to swear that they well, we get full stun mines anyway. But I could have swore that they had more uh, stun mines in here. Than that one that we found. And um, this guy here, I'll probably just take his head off and sneak past him. To be honest. There's a uh, dishonored auto aim. Playback indicates. There we go. So he shouldn't. He shouldn't be a problem now. They just kind of sit there and uh, glitch out or whatever. If you wanted to, you can um, drop assassinate him too and just put him out of his misery, but I won't worry about it this time. You know, now we just have to make our way back to uh, back to uh, Megan, and we'll be good to go. Hopefully, we didn't drop Jindosh. I don't know why I keep calling them Jindosh. I mean, Sokolov. That's because they're both uh, geniuses and characters are so similar. Okay, there he is. So we just. Oh, wait, I didn't mean to click that. Let's get back in. If you wanted to, for whatever reason, you can uh, come get Sokolov first and bring him out here, which actually harder because um, Jindosh is aware that you're in the mansion and he'll try to stop you by like, spawning extra uh, clockwork soldiers. So, um, so here, um, now there's some uh, Delilah witches. In this area, they're pretty hard to dodge. Without powers, especially. Not as bad as the assassins from the original Dishonored, but you know, still pretty bad. Bad enough to where I usually recommend uh, just taking them out with a dart or something. Just probably what I'll do here. What kind of monster does things like that? Is that a dead holler? So yeah, it's two patrolling, I think, and one kind of just sitting. I've had these things act all kinds of crazy ways, glitching in the walls. So yeah, these guards get slaughtered by these witches, even if you don't do anything. Even if I was to just leave them alive and not make them fight the hollers, they would still be slaughtered. Okay, so there's one witch. There was some. There's two witches. Now 
And there's one up there too I want to take out. You can see they just slaughter uh, everybody. Oh, I'm surprised she didn't hear me. Really surprised she didn't hear me that time. Probably have to put Sokolov down for a minute. Oh, wow, that's... Okay, so... Supposed to be a guard here? I don't know what happened to him. Right, okay. If you want the uh, painting up there, you can kind of climb. But here I show. Really don't know what happened to that guard. <laughs> so weird. You can just climb... Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it's over here. Yeah, you just kind of get up there if you want that other painting. Yeah, I'll go dump a uh, soak it off off and I'll come back. I really hope she's not just randomly uh, patrolling or something. That would be so annoying. You did it. I'll just show you guys how to get to that painting right quick. So, make a quick save in case uh, there's any problems. Really would love to know what happened to this guard under here. At least we didn't get credited with our death or anything, so that's a plus. What's it up? Yeah, it was up here. You just kind of come like this. Yeah, it's really cool how they put in all these different paths just specifically for not having powers. And, um, grab that bone charm, you know. Might be something you could use, like, highly unlike, and it won't have that much of an impact on your um, playthrough because you can't even uh, craft them without the outsider's blessings. So yeah, that's how you grab that if you wanted to. Let's go over here and she's taking care of uh, Sokolov. Wow, it's another uh, 26 minutes. So I guess I'll start the Royal Conservatory and then it'll probably be done with uploading for the night. Just upload these two videos right quick. Probably just make it to the Royal Conservatory and then call it quits. Oh, this is the Lyla, the Lala thing. The Lila, sorry. <laughs> oh, I hate this part. The void, but somehow different this time. So basically, all this is is just the Lila complaining not, about how is her life. Doing this? Which I mean, I feel. Sorry for her. I mean, she had a pretty screwed up. Yeah, uh, you can see uh, Jasmine's father. Uh, the way she remembers it, which it's kind of debatable if this actually happened or not. So she thinks. Well, it's So she's kind of showing you how she thinks that she got screwed because her father was the uh, emperor, and so she didn't get the the recognition that she should have gotten for being his daughter because she was a bastard child.
<laughs> so I was pretty uh, fucked up. Her uh, mom dies in prison and they just kick her out to the streets. And she right there, how Emily stayed. Throw, they cast doubt on it throughout the game. There's even a part where you, uh, if you do a high chaos and you fight her at the end, she says something about um, remembering playing hide and seek in this room and. The loyalist conspiracy that kidnapped me also. Sorry, let me skip. And the rum really didn't even exist at the time. So they throw doubt on whether or not she's uh, insane or if she's actually telling the truth. And you see, we did get the. Uh... Alright, mom. We did get the uh, Clockwork Soldier head. And um, Megan gives us a thank you note for uh, rescuing Sokolov, which is pretty much the whole point. Because as you see, Sokolov's uh, pretty useless. He's old, he's out of his prime. Um, he can't really help you with uh, telling you why Delilah is unkillable. Or immortal, in this case. What's wrong with people? Anton. Really, it's really cool how you can come and It'll be good to see the Royal click on these. Even if it's closed to the public. Yeah, that was her saying that these things escaped, the uh, blood flies escaped, but we already took care of that. I always wondered if you left them alone, they would just eventually like spawn nests in the ship, but um, nothing look really looked like it. And then Sokolov left us a uh, stun mine. Oh, and there's a Delilah painting if you want. I have trouble remembering my mother's face sometimes, but there might be some resemblance. Painted from memory. While trying to learn more about what the Duke of Sarkonos was up to, I began hearing a name I hadn't heard in almost two decades. Delilah Copperspoon. We painted together for a time, but her obsession with the occult and the Caldwin family took her out of me. So yeah, he was letting you know that he had um, some history with uh, Delilah. And that she was obsessed with the uh, Caldwin family. So, you know, they make it seem that maybe she's just insane. That she's not really uh, the Empress, the rightful Empress. We'll take the skiff. I don't want to bring the dreadful whale any closer than we have to. There is a small dock in Syria Gardens, close to the conservatory. That's as far as I can take you. Ready to go? Yes, let's go. Let's make a save here. Uh, jump on in here. This is actually this is just the safest way because there's a guard up there that will spot you from time to time. So it just saves you know, get yourself wet a little. And get Emily wet, hey. <laughs> and so um, this part can be kind of uh, annoying because um, they placed a bottle here for no fucking reason. So I like to come here and get the masterwork right away. Welcome to my shop. Say, an acquainted. And um, you know, he gives you a quest, Welcome but uh, eh, we'll end up doing Please. it anyway. Take your time. So now we're gonna buy one of the most uh, broken plans for your gear. Yeah, let's buy a Holland boat. I'm certain you will be satisfied with your purchase. Or is it the most broken? It's not even a masterwork, wow. Well, pretty much the most broken, uh, probably should be a masterwork, because it's the most powerful, just OP upgrade in the game, and I'll just show you guys why here. So, what you can do is, you can why do you cover your face? stick a mine on here, Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Please. and now we have a portable, you know, reusable stun mine that stuns everyone in the vicinity. Which I'll show here. 
so. Shit. Oh, they spotted me, but you see there what it would happen. Would they put a damn bottle of liquor right there for some reason, and it kills kills them as they come down like that. And that actually counts as me. Well, we got spotted anyway, so I want to restart. But that actually does count as me killing somebody. And well, I used up all of the charges, but. Yeah, it actually counted me getting spotted three times, which really sucks. I mean, I don't know why they uh, would put that bottle there like that. Going on here? So I'll just do it uh, this way instead. <gasps> so they'll come and they'll get stunned by that. Sorry, we're closed. I'll just buy another uh, stun mine from you. Just to see you again. Why not? And it looks like uh, you can buy a. Uh, no need to you know, for you, I suppose. I thought you would have to logically make sense that it would just be like the one stun mine that you steal, it's but you can buy infinite. Such uh, a unique. Well, that's a pleasant surprise to see you. Might again. as well uh, get more bolts too over here. I'm certain you'll be satisfied with your so purchase. They finally got taken out. There's one still walking around, yeah. yeah. This is the way I usually end up uh, doing it. I'm sure there was something going on. So yeah, <laughs> we got two for one so we could still reuse the uh, stun mine. So you can just kind of just, you know, put him in here. He doesn't really care, I don't guess. Maybe he won't. Either he doesn't care or he doesn't see him. Probably doesn't see him. Yeah, because he's like, eh, whatever, you know. We'll just pile them all nice, neat right there. It should be fine, I suppose. But yeah, that's just to give you, like, an idea of how ridiculous uh, these stun mines are. And see, now I can pick it up and I can still reuse it, which is pretty awesome. But make sure not to lose this valve if you want to uh, use the... If you want to rob the uh, black market, because it's pretty essential. I thought we could climb through there. Hmm. Guess you can't carry this in mantle. Apparently. So what I like to do here is uh kind of time it. I like to time it to where I can take out all three guards. Sorry about that. Um, take out all three guards with just one little blast that I have left on here. Kind of tricky to dodge, um, or well, tricky to do, but you can usually take out two guards with it, pretty reliably. Whenever she makes her way over here. Huh? Who opened okay. this door? Oh, it didn't work. I threw it too early. So we knock her out. And he just happens to just fucking turn around. Should have had a sleep dart ready going when I went in there. Just immediately just took him out. That would have been a proper uh, way to do it. Oh, we're back here. See if we can run a little. Don't want to risk running too much because they are uh, really, really aware of what's going on on this section. I will walk over here and get these coins. And then by the time I do that, she should be, uh, she should be standing in the right spot. So yeah, and so now she should be in an area where I can take them both out and then trank the other guy. So 
and then we can just knock the other guy out. And um, you know that was that. So we don't have to worry about any guards up here. And we can just hop up here and take out the wall of light. Here's the uh, overseer. Well, it looks like Dunwall's, I mean, uh, well, Kanaka at least is almost a bureaucracy. All that the, uh, the, you know, the religion has some kind of a uh, good amount of power, you know, over the government. Since he's pretty much here supervising, uh, He's pretty much here just supervising these guards. There's another uh, curator of the Royal Conservatory. There we go. For a while I believed that. Yeah, if I would have tried to blow this door down, they would have threw that grenade at me. Something is If you didn't get out of the way, you would die from it. The overseers are the forward face of the Abbey, but equally So um there's a few ways you could tackle this little section uh, coming up here. I will, uh, nah, I won't go that way. Subtle changes to the types of oh, actually, yeah, I'll go this way. Small but troubling deviations from tradition. Hello? Oh, wow, that's, that fucks me. Don't make me search the whole place. I don't have time for that. So Vice Overseer Byrne thinks Ashworth is interfering with the oracular order. Yeah, that really if fucks true, me. Oh, well, that's, it's uh, another reason she has to be eliminated. Put the valve on the black market thing. I take this guy out just because he's gonna be nosy. He's gonna be a, definitely be a problem. Hopefully he, uh, hopefully he calms down because that can be pretty aggravating if he's just randomly walking around up here. Okay, so that <laughs> That actually worked out um, pretty well. He just happened to be standing up there with those bodies, looking at those bodies. So that was uh, pretty perfect. So let's not try to make uh, too much noise, but there's a few different ways to go about this. Um, my original uh, guide, I uh, recommended that you try to distract these guards and have them run over there and try to jump through the wall of light. But uh, try to do a little bit more stealthy this time. Something stinks around here. Not my job to clean it up. Is someone I'll there? Around. Around. So yeah, you see how they heard me leap. So oh, he's, they got here. interested. So I'm gonna show here. Um, probably won't land it my first try, but you can actually jump around this corner if you're pretty skilled enough, and you can catch a pipe. So here, I'll try to demonstrate it. And obviously, I failed. <laughs> Try to make a good effort over this time, but I won't try this too many times because you'll be here. You know, I'll fail this like you know five times out of ten at least. But this is the sneakiest way of uh, going about it. Make sure we're not crouched. But, yeah, you see the pipe. That pipe's right there. But I won't worry about it. I'll just do it the uh, my uh, other my way. I normally do it with the. Um, going through the wall of light thing, but this is a better area to uh, distract the guards. But that is, well, let's just try one more time. Oh my what? god! <laughs> Wait, I'll have a Such a painful uh, jump. Very painful. I actually don't even think they intended you to do that. Kill it, will you? Yeah. 
it's a really f incredibly hard jump, but I've made it. Um, I've seen speedrunners just hit it every time. Uh, they'll fail a few times here and there, but they'll hit it pretty reliably. Like that. There we go. So, yeah, that's the uh, sneakiest way of uh, doing it. Like I said, usually fail it, but we nailed it. That oh, my God. Forgot about these witches. I think we saved when we landed on the pipe, though. Where are they, actually? Oh my god, really? It's so aggravating. I hate when they just put enemies there just to fuck with you, basically. Like, they're just sitting there quiet, you know, not doing anything. I actually think there was supposed to be a conversation, but it kind of bugged on me. Yeah, yeah, it was a conversation. So yeah, that, that was the path right there to take. And you could even uh, lure them over there to have them fight each other if you'd like. So this guy doesn't really care. So they are having a little uh, lover's argument, but I'm not really worried about that right now. You look great. Just want to come over here like this and. Enrico said. <sighs> Where's the? Okay, there we go. Take out this uh guy right here. Uh, they don't aggro on him. Actually, I should have bought the safe combination, but I didn't. But unfortunate. Oh, ran a ass work, so. I think the girl outside heard me, the female guard, but I don't think she will come in here. There's no way she can come in here, I'm pretty sure. Zephyr. Oh, is that the one where you move faster? Oh, it is. Oh, that's really good luck. That's actually one of the really good, uh, one of the nicest uh, bone charms to have. Even though you take uh, increased damage, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Really barely, uh, really barely uh, noticeable. Did she actually spot me? Oh wow, she actually spotted me. Okay, so yeah, that's why we say because you know hard shit like that happens. Uh, fortunately, that was still uh, Zephyr because that's a really good bone charm. Could probably use Undertaker too, to be honest. I'm not gonna mess with my slide speed because that's how I time my uh, knockouts. Some speeds faster, yeah. Could use these. So yeah, not completely worthless, you know. After all, Let's make sure we weren't spotted again. Can't believe she spotted me like that. It's really annoying. I really don't know how she spotted me. She 
fucking saw me uh, fighting with these damn bloodlines. Alright, take care of them as fast as possible. So there we go, they shouldn't be too much of a problem. None of their nests are all gone. So, um... Just to give you guys an idea of how OP these stun mines can be. Um, I won't follow through with this, but just to give an idea. Let's see. Make sure we weren't spotted again for whatever reason. No. You can actually take out, I think. Really? No, I guess not. Um, I'll stick it on this coat on this cup right here. I just, just to give you an idea of like how insanely OP this thing is. So they're all crowding up right there, so. So as you can see, look, took down. Should have probably ended up taking down those two too, but yeah, there we go. Took down like one, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like it's gonna be seven guards right here when she's finished. Seven guards. That's insane. That's insane that you can actually do that with the stun mine. But I won't be taking that route. Uh, I'll try not to knock people out if I can help it. But I just wanted to show you guys how insane the uh, stun mines can be on here. So, uh, go back to. This is the same route I actually took in my uh, other guy. Conservatory. What do those walls hide? Ooh, fuck that jump up pretty good. These are the kind of little fuck ups I wanted to take out of my other guy, but eh, they happen. You know? Might as well be honest with you guys, because there's a lot of people on here, they just edit the video and edit all that shit out. Alright, there we go. There's a guard out here, but he's not... There we go, he's not really worried about me right now. Let's see what the time looks like. 43 minutes. Yeah, I'll cut it here. Um, just do the observatory and then next time we'll keep it going. Some rotten food. They even had flies fucking flying on there at the time. Just come right up here. Yeah, I'll cut it here because you want to go through this door next. Yeah, that's a good time to cut it because that dog's turning around. So, yeah, thanks for watching again. Um. Hope uh, somebody out there can learn from these videos that was curious, you know, hope to save, save some people some time of not having to work all these routes out themselves. Because this did take me a good, you know, 20 or 30 hours just to work all of this out on the one save file. But, you know, you can see I'm pretty, got it down pretty smoothly. You know, everything usually goes pretty smooth. So, um, yeah, you see, the game is pretty consistent for the most part. <laughs> but, um, yeah, thanks again for watching. And uh, remember to like and comment and subscribe. And, um, let me know what you want to see on the channel, you know, stuff like that. And just leave me a comment. I like hearing from people. I like hearing from other fans, Dishonored fans, gaming fans in general, just anybody. Um, I don't put ads or anything on my videos. I just do this for, like, the hobby, you know, to talk to people and stuff. And, you know, get better with my own, you know, speaking and stuff. And get, you know, prove my own speaking abilities and stuff. So I'm just doing it as a hobby. So, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. I'll try to have this out, next part out, either maybe later tonight or tomorrow.